Hey guys, it's CryoDog here. I'm uh, going to show you today how to make your own personal ringtone out of uh, any music you've downloaded or purchased on your phone, your iOS device, uh, whichever you have, iPad. As long as you have uh, GarageBand, then you should be able to do this. Um, and GarageBand should have been a free app when you if you've purchased an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 6s um, so I'm using an iPhone 6s plus um, and I've got it open to my productivity apps and so we're just going to go into GarageBand we're going to start a new song we're going to choose audio recorder okay click on the tracks button so now uh, we're going to choose a track and we're going to go to the loops section um, and we're going to go to the music tab and we can choose our music from albums we have artists, genres, playlists, or songs I usually just, just choose songs and one thing I want you to notice on the screen here is the songs that are grayed out like the first one here all y'all and the third one all about you those are songs that you have purchased but they are not locally stored on your phone or your iOS device so in order for this ringtone uh, thing to work you must have the song that you want to use stored locally or download it to your phone or your iPad, whatever I was device you're using. So, uh, as you can see, I don't have a bunch stored locally. I've got a couple that I've been playing around with. Um, so, what you want to do is choose the song, and you want to press on the song name, the file name, until you see the icon of a file appear. And then you want to drag that track all the way to the far left so that it starts the song at number one and one thing you also want to check I should have showed you this before actually going into that step but you want to make sure you go to the plus sign in the upper right corner right below the little rich icon you want to tap on the plus if I can get it to work you want to make sure that it's section A is set to automatic instead of 8 bars. And the reason why that's important is because when you go to import the audio track that we just did, it's going to limit it to the first 8 bars. So all you're going to get is the first 8 bars of the song. So let me get rid of this. And we'll re download the whole thing. Go back. okay so now we have the full song as you can see the track is like really long now I'm not going to play the song and I'm going to show you how to do it um, so what you can do is if you want a certain section of the song as your ringtone you can go to that section by moving the playhead or the little arrow thing there to the section of the song and then just double tap to get this little menu here and choose split and then swipe the little scissors down and now that splits your audio track into two pieces you can do this as many times as you want in different sections of the song um, so we've got two tracks one two So you can continue to, to splice these up and move things around however you want. So if I wanted to have another splice right here, split. And now if I wanted to, I could remove this track and then bring this one closer. So now we have a different kind of mix for the song. So once we've done all that, we want to go back to our songs view uh, but first one thing to note here is that your ringtone can only be 30 seconds in length so whatever you do 
whatever you want the starting of the ringtone to be you want to make sure that's at the very first to track one so that it starts at track one so we can get rid of this and then so from there up into 30 seconds into the track is, is all it's going to use as the ringtone so you don't even have to edit it to the 30 seconds you can just leave it like this and then uh, actually GarageBand will do the editing for you so what we're going to do we're going to go back into this my song section we're going to choose select we're going to select the, the song that we just used we're going to go into share and we're going to choose ringtone and this is the point I was just telling you about the 30 seconds so we're going to choose continue it's going to come up you can rename the, the ringtone whatever you want it's going to store in your ringtones uh, folder so if we want to rename this one test ring ringtone and then we're going to choose export and then it's going to give us an option to choose we can assign this ringtone as the standard ringtone for the whole phone for every call you can use it as a standard text tone or you can assign it to a contact whichever you want to do um, and then you can choose done so we'll just assign it standard ringtone and then now choose done and if you wanted to go back and choose the ringtone you would just go into your sounds um, area of your settings and then you can select that ringtone to be used by your contacts or whatever you want to use it for so that's really a cool way to use GarageBand um, to make your own ringtone out of songs that you like and you can actually select these, sec these sections of the songs that you want to use you don't have to do like the ones on iTunes where they select the part of the song that they want you to buy and you you're pretty much stuck with that well, this way you can choose whatever section you want up to 30 seconds and you can even move pieces around however you want to do that and I guess that's about it so thanks for watching the video if you have any uh, questions leave those below and I will catch you guys later